Good morning. Uh, something different today. We're in uh, Emma Wempstead, which is uh, a new town in Hertfordshire, and I'm scaffolding. I'm helping a pal of mine out to uh, not really scaffolding, they're really going to see some secure uh, them. These balconies, um, they're going to be repaired by the council at some point. Um, Jonathan's going mountain climbing by the looks of it. Getting ready. Getting ready. I ain't got to put another that on, do I? Oh, if you want to. <laughs> no, I don't. Yeah. You, you do look sexy though, innit? I must admit. You wait till I start swinging. Yeah. Uh, yeah, there's some damage here, which they're going to repair. Good luck with that. Uh, so, right, we're going to crack on. Right, uh, a bit awkward, um, me filming actually, because I'm having to work. I thought I was only going to drive the lorry, and then he turned up without a lorry, so I couldn't even drive that. <laughs> so, yeah, this is what we've done anyway. Put the uh, two end standards up. They're screwed to the floor, uh, and these jacks instead of you could have used that crows, but they'd probably come along and nick them because uh, they're worth a bit more money than these. These jacks, one either end, and the ledger through, and then we'll put this middle one up and carry on from there. Uh, so this, because it's on a, that's on that slope. Yeah. These will be tied into the wall. So yeah. Because if there's the downward force, because on the slope will push it out. Yeah. But this, once it's tied in, will stop that coming out. I'll show you that in a minute. So how we fix it to the wall. The only other thing is I didn't come quite prepared either. Apparently, if you're scaffolder, you've got to turn up with a uh, some bag. Apparently, whatever that is, a gram of bag, uh, some weed, uh, knuckle duster, flick knife, and some condoms. You've got to be, uh, you know, prepared for every eventuality scaffolders do when they come to work. But uh, I forgot them today. But anyway, I think I'll get through the day without them. All right, we've got a uh, full health and safety here. Right, what we're doing is putting these eyes in. Um, I'll show you in a minute to lock this whole thing into the building to stop it pulling out. What uh, the scaffolders do get, which is a problem sometimes when doing anything like this, um, is people laying bricks frog down. Because um, they can, you know, if you lay it frog up, the frog gets filled up, you've got a solid mass. <coughs> to lay frog down, you get that hollow bit and uh, they can't fix to it. No. It, it just isn't nothing to fix to, which uh, makes life very difficult and dangerous. Uh, it's not awkward enough, is it? Nah. Glad you're doing it. Well, anyway, we've got all this up. Uh, I've still got it. Don't worry about that. They used to call me Ratchet Wrist on the old scaffolding gangs, you know. They ain't impressed. Uh, yeah, we used to do scaffolding uh, when I first started. In the sort of 70s, you had two gangs really. You had two and one gangs and four and two gangs, price gangs. And you had scaffolders, obviously. They, they majorly done the big works. But, uh, we always got the option to do the scaffold ourselves, um, which, you know, me and the other labourer, the other Roddy, we used to take on. Um, Brick loads would help muck in, because you've got good money for it. And you're going on a Saturday, uh, you know, once it's based out and that, and the next lifts don't take long to go round. Remember, it was puddle lot scaffold, I'll explain that in a minute. Uh, four boards, you know, you could you could put a lift round and load it out uh, on a Saturday. That was a good little earner. Uh, kept the gang going. Yeah, Pudlock Scaffold. It was fantastic stuff. Um, I mean, a lot of you will remember it. It's not been gone that long. But uh, it's outlawed now. Basically, the ones who don't know. Uh, <coughs> the Pudlock was flattened. 
at one end and it went into a perk door. So like I say, you had no standards in your way. Uh, but what happened was there were some accidents and a friend of mine um, was involved in a very bad accident uh, with Pudlock Scaffold and uh, he's never really worked since. And that was, blimey, when was that? It was in the 80s. Uh, what happened was, um, it was on the loading bay. The whole thing was scaffolded out on the block um, with Pudlock Scaffold and the forklift caught the scaffold in and as he reversed out he pulled the whole thing all the pudlocks out of the wall and the whole thing collapsed and uh, my mate was on the scaffold and it yeah it really uh, messed him up but uh, lucky he, he's alive now he's all right but uh, it didn't do him a lot of good so yeah scaffolding and that was it one o'clock on a friday all done I like that finish there's the other one over there um, yeah, where are we? Emma Wempstead? Hemel-Hempstead, yeah. We're in Hemel-Hempstead. Um, it's a new town. Well, it's not a new town now. One of the new towns. I think it started building in the 50s or 60s. Uh, it's big. It's a big town. I don't know what goes on here, but everything is LBC, London Brick Company, Flettons. Everywhere you look and everywhere we've driven through. You now they made millions and millions and millions. Uh, yeah, I know, they're horrible, aren't they? And the next two jobs I've got, I've got a job to start Monday. I've got a few concrete blocks to get us up to damp first. But that's uh, LBC Rustics. And then I've got a job we're doing with Damon. There's the seatbelt. Um, and that's LBC, oops, LBC Evers. Uh, but they're going to be pointed in, uh, weather pointed in white muck. But uh, I can't seem to get away from the poxy things. But still. Right, Friday, we know it happens Friday, um, and I'll see you Monday morning, hopefully, uh, on the new job. Have a nice weekend.